Hi everyone and welcome back to Total Coins. So in this video we're going to be doing the third part of my collection run through and we're basically going to be looking at my sort of coin, the coin collection, the coin sets that I've got, shall I say. Um, this won't include sort of the sort of Royal Mint sets or anything like that. They'll all be done in the next video with my year sets and my album reviews. Uh, this one's just going to be some of the other sets that I've got that I just wanted to sort of run through and just sort of random bits of coins. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the sets that I've got from some of the exchanges around the UK. And the first one I'm going to start with is actually one of my favourite sets that I've got in my whole collection. And it is the Bradford Exchange's uh, 50 year anniversary of the moon landing. So for those of you that watch Christopher Collect's channel, he's been sort of doing this, he's been adding sort of one coin to this each month. Um, and this is one that's got the, the domed coin on the front. And then when you get inside, there you go, I'm gonna knock everything out now. <laughs> So, one on the inside is a one crown, and then you've got the lunar module, the moon rise, President Kennedy, Apollo 4, and I believe that's Neil Armstrong. So, really, really nice set. Absolutely loved sort of finding out about these. And I will admit, as soon as I found out about it, I did uh, sort of jump on it. So I'm firmly blaming Christopher Collects for me getting this uh, this set. Obviously, I have got one slot left to fill, but that is the sort of the gold coin, um, and it's quite expensive. So I'm not too sure whether I'm going to get it or not. Um, but if I do, I will let you all know. And then the next set I got was from the London Mint office. And it was a recent set that they put out and it was Monarchs of the 20th Century. And basically, move that to the side. Shows you how often I've gone through this. So it's basically a whole set of coins based around the monarchs that have reigned over the, uh, the United Kingdom since the turn of the century. So the first coin you get is a George V silver threepence and you'll see it just there. So. Once again, sort of, this was a set that I got. Um, I happened to see it on uh, Instagram, I believe it was, or maybe some of the other coin tubers told me about it. But not too sure whether I will uh, finish this one off or just have it as a, a one off coin. But yeah, it is a nice set and. Knowing me, I probably will end up sort of going back and sort of getting all the other coins to sort of go in here as well. And then the next set I've done, I've been doing, is one from the Coin Club. So it is the Disney Classic Collection. And it is a six coin set with gold plated coins from all the major sort of Disney pictures. So we've got Beauty and the Beast, Pocahontas, Dumbo, Hunchback of Notre Dame, The Jungle Book, and 101 Dalmatians. The reason I haven't got The Jungle Book in there yet is that coin hasn't actually been released yet. That should be released within the next sort of couple of weeks. So as soon as I get that, I will be putting it in to complete that set. And then the next one I've got is the Queen Elizabeth set from, I think this one is the London Mint office. Don't quote me on that, I can't actually remember. Um, and this one is, so it's another collection 
of coins to commemorate Queen Elizabeth. And the way I got started on this set was I actually got a large number. I think I got all of these coins in one of my job lots. So I actually went away and found the album to put them in. So obviously, like all the other sets, it comes. Its final coin is sort of a, a gold coin that is quite expensive, and one I haven't found the coin yet, but don't know if it's one that I will get anyway. So there's all the information on the coins that are in it. But yeah, as I say, I had sort of I got all the coins sort of in sort of various job lots that I bought. And I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to sort of basically get the album so that I can display them properly and keep them sort of secure. Obviously, I've got all the certificates of authenticity for each of the coins as well. And then the final set that I've got, and it's an, another, it's an older one, um, and it is from the Waterloo Mint. So it is the Battle of Waterloo set. Um, this is one that I am not going to sort of complete. This was one that come in with one of my job lots. Um, and yeah, just not... Um, I've looked at sort of like the prices of the, the coins are going for and it's just sort of too much to actually sort of look at getting it. So... There's all the information on it. So what would have happened is, is someone would have bought this as it had been sort of like, because it's the first coin set, and they would have just not got sort of any more after that. But there's the first sort of coin in the set, and it's Prince George. And there's the information on the coin and then that is the obverse of the coin so it is a nice coin um, just as I say sort of to actually complete the set is very very expensive for some reason so uh, it's not one that I'm sort of actively looking to complete at the moment might be something I look to do sort of later on down the line but at the moment I've got no intentions of completing that album uh, so what I'll do is if you give me a couple of seconds I will go and grab the next set of coins and we'll have a look through them so the next few sets that I've got are some that I got with some of my job lots and I thought they were sort of really really nice so you got this one case is in a, uh, a bit of a state which is unfortunate but the actual set itself so it is the 1973 first official coin set of the British Virgin Islands and some of the coins aren't in great condition but they are absolutely stunning and it is a full set which is great so we've got the 1 cent, 5 cent, 10 cent, 25 cent, 50 cent and 1 dollar so a really really nice set and then the next set I've got is a small little one and it is the Trinidad and Tobago set. I will say I am missing one. I believe it's the 10 cent that I'm missing. So, a bit, uh, bit gutted that that's not there, but obviously once again, this was one that come in a job lot. And that was, that is actually a Royal Mint set. So that was produced by the Royal Mint. And then the last set I've got is the Royal Visit 1970. And it is a New Zealand set. 
Um, once again, there are a couple of coins missing. I think I'm missing the one cent and the five cent. But I've got the two, the 10, the 20, the half crown, and the one dollar. And that one dollar is absolutely stunning. I really, really like that one dollar. So, and then the next set I've got, so I know I said at the beginning of the video there'd be no Royal Mint sets, but I did want to include this one on this video, and it is the year 2000 time capsule set from the Royal Mint. So it's in a nice metal tin. I'll put that off to the side. So you've got the inlay there, which basically gives you sort of all the information on the coins. You've then got the 2000 five pound coin, and you've got the two pounds, the one pound, the Britannia, the 20p, 10p, 5p, 2p, and one pound. So, a really, really nice set. It was one that sort of as soon as I saw it, um, I pretty much bought it straight away. And the fact, sort of a lot of the ones that I was seeing when I was first sort of looking at this, a lot of the ones that I was seeing weren't in the bet. The cake, like the tin that it comes in, wasn't in great condition. It was dense and damaged and everything. But I was quite lucky to find this one, which is in absolutely brilliant condition, apart from a couple of sort of little marks, but in general, really, really good condition uh, for sort of a really good price, actually. Uh, right, so the next set I wanted to show you was, um, now, I don't know sort of how many of you know, but obviously there is a certain film franchise like another coin tuber that I am mildly obsessed with, and that is Star Wars. <laughs> so this was the Star Wars 2007 vintage coin set. So the first coin you get, is the 30 years of Star Wars medallion. And then you've got six coins in there. But first off, you've got the reverse of the coin there. And then you've got Princess Leia, a Snow Trooper, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Bosk and IG88. So all characters featured and within to be quite honest, apart from the Leia and Luke, they all seem to be sort of designs and characters from Empire Strikes Back. I think Leia, that's return that's return that's Return of the Jedi. And the Luke one I think, no, actually, the Luke one's Empire Strikes Back as well. So the only one that's sort of not part of the Empire Strikes Back is Leia, as that is her outfit that she wore in Return of the Jedi. So, another nice set. Once again, um, as soon as I saw it, it one that I had to sort of get hold of. And then the next two that I have got... Uh, I'm going to do them both together actually um, because they are similar sort of things for different years and they are pattern sets so pattern coins are essentially sort of prototype coins um, and these were two sets that were developed for if the UK ever joined the EU or joined the Euro should I say um, they're absolutely stunning coins and you've got two different sets one from 20, uh, 2003 and one from 2000, uh, 2014 and I will admit the designs are absolutely amazing on these would not have been disappointed Obviously, don't get me wrong, not for a minute do I want the UK to get rid of the pound and join the Euro, but if these are what our coins would have looked like, 
I would not have been upset in the slightest. Really, really like them. So that is the 2003 set. And this is the 2014 set. Obviously, both sets are from sort of Scotland's perspective. So you've got the one, the two, the five, uh, all sort of euro cent, the 10, the 20, and the 50. Then you've got the one euro, the two euro, and the five euro. So really, really nice coin sets. And yeah, once again, sort of, they were sort of absolutely amazing sets. And I am so glad to sort of have them sort of in my collection. And then the next set that I've got is actually a slab set. So this was a set, I believe this come from Westminster. Um, it's the only slab set that I've actually got. And this was the 2019 sort of D-Day coins. So it comes with two coins. You've got the original D-Day 50p in circulated condition. And then you've got the 2019 D-Day two pound in brilliantly uncirculated condition. So, yeah, as I say, this is the only sort of slab set that I've got. Um, not, I'm not really a fan of sort of the slab coins. It's not really what my collection sort of built on. Um, I think this was just very much sort of uh, an impulse buy. I mean, once it actually arrived, I was, wasn't was overly enamored. So, um, yeah, it's a nice set to have in the collection, um, but I don't sort of actively sort of go out looking for sort of slabbed coins. So what we'll do, do now is we'll now move on to my sort of box set, boxed sets. Um, so these are, so one of them is actually quite a large um, collection that's come from the London Mint office and then the rest are sort of ones that I've sort of put together with sort of various coins that I've found so give me two seconds and I'll just go and grab them so the next load of coins that I've got in my sort of collection set and we'll start off with this one so it is a collection of D-Day um, and uh, I think these day these two are part of a D-Day set and these two are part of a different set so this was actually a set that I got in with one of my job lots uh, I don't know too much about them I don't know who sort of produced them or whether they're sort of extra coins in the set or not but I do think they are absolutely sort of stunning coins and I probably wouldn't be adverse to sort of finding the rest of the set for the sort of D-Day coins but there's that set the, sorry about the chair <laughs> everyone sort of comments about it so next set I've got is just some coins that I've sort of put together so the first couple there are to do with the diamond there, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee set. And then we've got just some sort of random coins that have uh, that I've basically sort of come across. So you've got that one, which is which has a Austrian shilling in it. We've got a similar sort of coin with an Irish one penny. So, so you basically, it's a series that's celebrating European currencies. Uh, you've then got speeches of Her Majesty the Queen. 
So this is another coin set. You've then got a coin from the British banknote set. Um, I've actually got some more to show on this one, sort of later on. And then you've got uh, Portraits of the Queen, is what this one's from. So that is obviously the portrait from 1952. And then the last one you've got is, uh, this is also from the British Banknote series, but the only difference is, is this is a gold-plated coin, and obviously a larger size. So yeah, just a, as I say, just a, a couple of sort of random coins that I've sort of pulled from sort of job lots and things like that. And then the next box I've got. So I ended up sort of buying a couple of these sort of, uh, they're basically Westminster collection boxes. I managed to get them on eBay um, because they are absolutely brilliant for storing coins in. Surprise, surprise, coming from Westminster. But these are some random sort of coins that I've got. I think they're all Euro coins that have come from some of the job lots that I've got. So they are really, really nice coins. So that's a $1. So there's quite a few sort of the Irish coins in there. And then the last couple of coins I've got in the bottom are just some sort of random ones that I've got. So this was from Ships That Made History set. So you've got the Cutty Sark. I will admit that is a nice coin, a really, really nice coin. And I am actually tempted to sort of try and hunt down the rest of the set for these and the album that they go in um, but when I sort of initially looked I wasn't having a lot of luck finding them and then obviously the next coin in that same set is obviously the Titanic which I have an absolute obsessive fascination with the Titanic I love sort of watching documentaries and everything about it And the next one we've got, I believe, so it's a Scotland, George the uh, Third, 1808, oh, there you go, I'll get it in frame, sorry, <laughs> um, aluminium proof. I'm pretty sure that this is a reproduction. Uh, I think I've had a look and I don't think it is real. But I might actually trump on you, mister, see if I can find out the information about it as to why I decided that it was fake. And then we've obviously got the Queen's, uh, I think that's the, ju one of the Queen's Jubilees, the Diamond Jubilee, 1977. Uh, really, really common coin. Uh, you'll see as we go through, I've got absolutely truckloads of them. And then you've got the War Poppy Collection. Would you look at that? Absolutely stunning. So, the thing is, there's a lot of the job lots that I've bought. I've had, not necessarily had the monetary value that I've paid for them, but I've definitely made up for it with the coins that are in there because they're not ones that I would have necessarily come across on my own. So this one is actually uh, set for the Falklands War. So yeah, really, really like, and that's one of the reasons why I do like um, sort of doing the job lots. I've actually got, I do have another couple of job lot videos coming up as well soon. Um, I'm hoping actually one will be up within the next few weeks actually. So, the next set that we're going to look at 
is in a big wooden box. So you'll see here from a tab, it says British banknotes. So the coins that I was showing off a second ago were from sort of the British banknote collection. So I'm just making sure I don't knock anything over. So here we go. So obviously they're all silver plated coins and they depict sort of all the different banknotes throughout um, or from a certain period of time within the UK. So you've obviously got one pound, uh, you've got a five pound, uh, we've got another five pound there, and you've got what? Oh, no, so you've got, I haven't organized this. For some reason, I haven't organized this properly. So you've got the one pound coins, the five pound coins, you've got the 10 pound coins, and then you've got the 20 pound coins. And let me just see if I can get them into a position so you can actually see them all. So it's a really, really nice set. Once again, I'm not 100% sure who actually makes the set. Um, I have got the certificate there. So if anyone knows, let me know in the comment down below. I'd be really interested to find out. And so that's the logo, I'm assuming. But yeah, really, really nice set. Um, another one where I sort of found a couple within a job lot. And I think, no, actually, this was a complete set that I bought. I found a couple of them in a job lot and then went actually on the search for the full set. And that's when I ended up with them. And then the next set I've got is in another wooden box. But this time it is a set on pre-decimal coins. So there's a couple of the the extra sort of note series that I'd had. Um, I just thought I'd stick them in there until I find a more permanent home for them. But the majority of the coins are here. So you've got half penny from 9037 to 48 and another half penny from 54 to 70. You've then got a one penny, 37 to 51, three penny, 37 to 48, two shillings, 47 to 51, the farthing, 37 to 52. Sixpence, 54 to 70. The shilling from 54 to 70. And the half crown from 54 to 70. So this set is nowhere near complete. Um, as I say, they were, it was a set that I got with another job lot. But I have yet to sort of try and uh, track down the rest of them. Uh, I will admit it is definitely sort of on the cards for me to do. And then, uh, what set should I do next? So I'll do this one. So this was another set that actually come exactly like this in one of my job lots. It is Queen Elizabeth and the Queen Mother, 1900 to 2002. So it's obviously a Westminster Collection set. And it's a one crown coin, the life of times of the Queen Mother. So you've got a little picture book there, sort of various pictures. And then you've got the information on it. And there you go, you'll see the specifications of the coin. So it's Cooper Nickel with a black finish. Issuing country is the Isle of Man. 
So yeah, this was a, a set that I got sort of as is. There's nothing been done to this. Um, and yeah, it was a really nice set. It's probably not one that I would have sort of gone and got on my own. And there's actually slots underneath as well for some more coins if I wanted. Um, yeah, it's probably not a set I would have gone out on my own to get, but seeing as it was in a job lot, I was more than happy to get that. So, the next set that I've got, and this is one of the ones that I sort of, once again, found a couple of the coins in um, some job lots and absolutely had to go and find the whole set. Um, so, it's another one in a big wooden box, but this one is the changing face of British coinage, gold edition. So these are all the certificates of authenticity, but for those of you that have seen any of my job lot unboxings, you'd have probably seen some of these. So we're just, I'll start at the top. So you've got the half crown, and these are all pre-decimals of Elizabeth II. You've got a Scottish shilling, a half penny, the sixpence, the florin, the threepence, the farthing, and the penny. So, once again, it was a, a set that I sort of desperately tried to find and obviously I wanted to try and find one that had all of the certificates of authenticity. Um, this was a set that as I say was issued by the London Mint office and it was a really really nice set. So the next part of the set is the pre-decimals of George the Sixth. So once again you've got the half crown, Scottish sixpence, the half penny, the sixpence, the florin, the threepence, the farthing, the English sixpence, and the penny. And then the last part of the set is the decimalized coins of Elizabeth II. So you've got the one pound, the penny, the two penny, the half penny, five p, and that's actually the new sized half p, along with the new sized ten p. You got the twenty p and the new sized fifty p. So yeah, an absolutely stunning set was one that I was really really happy to find. And it was very, very difficult. I think mean, it took me a good sort of few months to actually hunt down a set with all of the certificates of authenticity in. But really, really glad when I did find one. And then the next set that I've got is another blue box. another one that I've sort of put together from uh, job lot unboxings that I've done so these are the I think this is the coronation series of coins that was released um, I don't know too much about them I've sort of tried to sort of research them I think they're from um, the Windsor Mint uh, from what I can remember they are issued from the Windsor Mint and it's basically sort of depicting sort of various pictures taken of the Queen. Uh, as I say, sort of not managed to sort of find out a lot of information about them. Don't even know how many coins are actually in the series. Um, but it is a nice series. And then a certificate of authenticity for The, so this is the Majesty Collection, uh, Jubilee Monarch, 
So you'll see there. And this one is actually dated on the actual, uh, is numbered on the coin itself. So I've got number 331 out of 50,000. And this is a gold plated coin with silver inlays. So that is a really nice coin. And then we've got another one, another coin from the Diamond Jubilee set. And another one. And we've got just a couple of extra coins that I had to sort of kick around. So we've got the, um, the European Hands 50p, if it will come out. So that is what, 73, yep. Yeah. So that is the old style 50p, so that's the larger size. I don't know why it's in the uh, plastic sleeve. And then we've got the D-Day 50p as well. Once again, in the old style 50p. And then we move on to the last set that I've got. in the big boxes and this is going to be my various sort of extra crowns that I've got so there are quite a few here So on this one, I've got a couple of sort of other ones as well that I sort of really like. So you've obviously got you've got the Queen Mother five pound, but then we've got the Guernsey and Jersey. So these are both uh, twenty five pence coins. Absolutely brilliant coins really really liked when I found them and then you've got the Jersey 50p and then we've got a couple more of the five shillings I think this is the coronation uh, we've got a Churchill that's not in overly great condition neither's the coin holder <laughs> Um, and we've then got, uh, so that's a 2013, uh, was it 60 year coronation, two pound. And then we've got, so that one actually was, yeah, the Indian Ocean Territories. Then got another one. Which is uh, not too sure where that one's from. Obviously none of these are silver, they're all sort of cooper nickel and they're all in circulated condition, so that's why I'm handling them with without gloves on. So another Coronation five pounds, and that is from Jersey. Another one from the Coronation, or well, 60 years of the Coronation, that's one dollar from the Cook Islands. And then we've got another Jersey. with a different design and then lastly just sort of a couple of ones that we've got left down the bottom so we've got a couple these are the sort of the uh, changing face of British currency coins that I found sort of first off and then we've got some more coronation ones I think so that's one crown from Gibraltar
And that one is two dollars. And I don't know if that's where it's from. I'm not too sure on that one. And then the next one we've got is so two pounds from the Sandwich Islands. That's a really nice design on that one. And we've got a one crown from the Falkland Islands. And the so Battle of Waterloo, 1815. And that is a five pounds. I'm not too sure where that's from. So it's a 2015 coin. I'm not too sure about that one. We then go back to the coronation. And that is one crown from the Isle of Man. And then the last one we've got in this box is another one crown from the Ascension Islands. So that will be 2013, so that will be another 60 years of the coronation. Really, really nice. So that is going to be my sort of big boxes um, that I've got. Uh, the other one that I will just quickly show you is just one of my sort of spares boxes um, and you'll see that I've got sort of all of my out spare alphabet 10 P's a um, couple of sort of um, suspect 10 P's um, and then a couple of uh, let's just say not legit coins so the only Q Gardens that I have ever got my hands on which is as you'll see there an IRB copy so that is not a genuine Q Gardens unfortunately never had one really really desperate to get one you've then got the completers medallion for the 50p Olympic set And this one is genuine. I just haven't had anywhere else to put it yet. So this is a brilliantly uncirculated abolition of the slave trade. So as I say on my videos, sort of if you you look there, you'll see it's a smooth finish, and there's a little mint mark there. So this was the one that was only released for the, the album sets. And you will say it's not the. There's no markings on the actual coin. It is just the outer case. So yeah, really happy with that one. And then the other one that I've got is the Olympic Aquatics with lines through their face. But unfortunately, this one is also a copy. So, not not rich as you all probably thought when you first saw that <laughs> and then just some of the other coins that I've got so obviously I've got the Christmas coins uh, from the 2019 Royal Mint album so obviously I had one that I was doing on the video and then my other half and my little one had one that they were going through as well um, I've got a couple of the, so I've got my Jurassic, uh, Jurassic World, Lost World coin that I got from Laughter in the uh, video where I'd done sort of the mystery bag. I then got another Jurassic Park coin that I sort of picked up elsewhere. And then I've got my Bitcoins. <laughs> So, 
yeah obviously bitcoins are not physical coins these are just sort of um tokens so to speak but i find them fun and there are a couple of coins in here that are sort of just for fun and the section down the bottom here is a load of coins that i actually picked up recently from my local market I paid five pound for sort of all of these um, and basically they're just copies of sort of old coins and they're not not real they should all be sort of silver um, but I've gone through and sort of checked them all and no none of them are silver they are all just sort of copy coins but I've kept hold of them because they are well the main reason that I wanted to get them actually was more for the designs sort of for what I paid for them as I say paid five pounds for quite a load of them and it was more just for sort of the designs more than anything else that's them and then the other parts were so that was one of the ones that I sort of really liked South African 50 cent. South African five dollar. There's some really, really nice designs on these coins. Obviously, don't think I'll end up actually owning any of them just because obviously they are probably quite expensive to buy. So that was one of my spares boxes that I've got. Um, and yeah, mostly it is just the just for sort of storing the alphabet 10 P's. So let me just grab the next set of coins. Okay, so the last batch of coins that we've got to sort of go through are just sort of random sort of sets that I've got. Um, quite a few of them have sort of come from sort of job lots, and then one I've actually held on to. Um, one that I've had since I was a kid, so it is very, very sort of precious to me. And obviously, sort of since coin collecting, it's actually sort of given more significance. But I will get to that one in a minute. The first set I've got is a 1972 full set of Maltese coins. So this was actually a set that come in with one of my job lots. And then I've got the Royal Wedding commemorative coin. So you've seen there's a couple of these in my in the boxes that I've got. But this was the only one that I had. And the only one that I've ever been able to get in the actual sort of original packaging. Um, once again, this was one that come from sort of one of my job lots. I've then got a Maxwell House one pound promotion pack. So, obviously released at the time when the new one pound was put into circulation. Obviously for us now, it was the old, old one pound. But really, really nice little set. And then obviously I've got the 1983 brilliantly uncirculated pound as well. So you've got the information there. And you've 
we've got the history of the one pound coin. And how one pounds are made. And the actual coin itself. So, once again, sort of a really, really nice set. And obviously, like all the older Royal Mint packagings as well, I'm going to show you the three different locations of the Royal Mint. So, you've got the Tower of London, Tower Hill, which is just across the way, and Clone Tristan, where they are now. So, another set that I really, really like. And then we've got a couple of, I believe these are commemorative coin covers. So these come in with a job lot that I got. Um, I don't know too much about them. I think it's obviously it's sort of like the coins and the stamps sort of go together. Um, obviously I am not a stamp guy. We have a particular coin tuber that is more well versed in them than I am. So that is a Gibraltar, 2005, one crown. We've then got the 40th anniversary of decimalization, two shillings. Yeah, obviously the back of this isn't in sort of the greatest condition, but the coin itself, luckily, is still all sealed away. And this one actually come with that as well. So yeah, there are a couple of the sort of the extra bits that I had. I've then got a Merry Christmas from around the world. And this is a set that basically sort of depicts sort of uh, gives you one coin from sort of each or each of six countries from around the world so you've got Norway you've got Austria Finland Turkey Mexico and China and then you've got the sort of different denominations in there as well Distributed by Mayfair Coin Company. So, never heard of them, so they probably don't exist anymore. So, yeah, once again, that was a set, that's another set I got in with my job lots. Um, I thought it was a very interesting one. And next set I've got is from San Marino. So it's obviously not complete, there's two coins missing unfortunately, but nevertheless, some really, really nice coins. Not all in there the right way round, so it's difficult to sort of show you. Got a. Is it? So it is. I don't think it's any particular year, but it's basically a uh, old and current common coins from Thailand. So you've got sort of one bar, five bar, sort of like different years. As I say, not a set that I would have sort of ever thought about. Uh, it just happened to sort of be in with one of my job lots, and I thought, do you know what, that is really interesting. And at the time, I was starting to find a lot of sort of tie coins in my um, world coin hunt. So the next set I've got is obviously all sealed up actually, I don't think I've ever opened it. Um, and this is historic cars, so you've got a variety of sort of like the old cars, sort of 
So Mercedes Benz three wheeler, sort of all the way up to sort of like the Mini and the Lamborghini. So it's a very difficult to show you with lights. But yeah, for those of you that are into your cars, like me, I say very much into my cars, you will uh, definitely know a majority of these. So there's that, and then, uh, what's this one? Uh, no, I've shown them in the last video. So right, I've had a bit of a sort out between uh, between videos. So some coins have been moved around. And the next set I got, I didn't obviously, um, it's all about sort of man's flight, but the coins themselves are not in great condition. And it's basically sort of just celebrating sort of the different achievements with sort of humans sort of flight but yeah very disappointed when the, when I got this I only paid a couple of pound for it but yeah it wasn't wasn't overly happy when that come uh, right so I have got two more bits to go through no sorry three more bits well what well, there's actually let me move that to the side and move these as well So, I'll go through this one. So this is a box of sort of the, the half, uh, not half, the, the one crowns, sort of all the sort of commemorative ones. Uh, first one I've got is actually not half crown, it's 25 pence, but it is, is it the Cheshire Cat from the Isle of Man, 1975. then got the 80th birthday of Queen Elizabeth and the Queen Mother and we've then got a silver wedding crown for Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip One, as you can see, was issued by Lloyds Bank. We've then got the Churchill. Another Charles and Diana. Obviously, this one's in a different presentation. And we've got this was the, I think it was this coronation, it was five shillings. I can't actually remember what it's celebrating. I've then got another one of the Charles and Diana. The Silver Jubilee from 1977. And what have we got there? So it's a five pounds. Uh, that is the 80th birthday. Uh, similar to the one we've just looked at. And then we've got so another presentation of the Silver Jubilee. Uh, Buckingham Palace, solid bronze. So this was one that come in with my job lots. Don't know too much about them. Queen's Gallery. We've then got Fort Ticonderosa, solid bronze. So that will be. So I'm assuming these are something that have come from sort of like the places themselves, even though I don't think there was a gift shop or anything for Buckingham Palace. And then we've got Condor. And that 
That is for the National Trust of Scotland. I've then got another one of the, as I say, I believe that's a coronation. And then the last couple that I've got in here are basically for the Festival of Britain, which I'm not too sure what it is. But there is the coin that comes in there. So that's 1951. And then you get the little booklet inside. And obviously there are sort of a couple of different versions of the packaging. But inside, the coin is always the same. And there you go. So, that is them ones. Then, the last two bits that I've got to show you, actually, are two bits that have that are pretty much sort of pride of place in my collection. And let me just get these back in and I can show you them. So the first one is going to appeal to sort of a lot of you Disney fans. And there are a couple in a couple of bits in here. So the first one is sort of a commemorative coin set. So this was the coin that was issued to staff members. So you see there, um, staff members received that coin sort of the day that Disney opened. And then um, 30 years later, it did, Disney reissued sort of this one for staff. Uh, really really nice set obviously I have never worked for Disney probably never will but as soon as I saw these sort of I had to have them and then this one this is the one that actually takes a massive place sort of in my collection and it is actually a commemorative coin that was issued to all staff members at Euro Disney. So when Euro Disney first opened, all staff were issued with this medal. And it was only available to staff, it was never issued to the public. And obviously I've managed to get hold of it on the, the resale market. And you'll actually see there, this is the letter that each person got with the coin. So yeah, really, really nice coin um, or medallion, as it's sort of it's actually called. But yeah, I uh, I managed to track that down a little while back, um, and obviously my other half is very, very much into Disney. So I definitely thought that both of them would be sort of really nice additions to the collection. And then the last thing that I've got to show you today is the set that I've had since I was a kid. Um, now this was a set that was issued by one of the banks um, in partnership with the Royal Mint as well. And it came in this nice little album. And it is the World Saver set from NatWest. So the set comes with sort of five different coins. Um, I can't remember what the requirements were to sort of get each coin, but it wasn't just a case of that you got the whole set in one go. You actually had to sort of build up to each set, uh, to each coin. 
and I'm actually lucky enough to have sort of the the full album sort of in its entirety and obviously you've got so you've obviously got the panda that comes with the the original album you've then got the 1989 Sabres medal which was the Jaguar Uh, the 1990 which was the elephant and it's quite interesting as well you see the sort of two different logos the Royal Mint you've got the 1991 Golden Eagle and the 1992 Black Rhino As I say, this is a set that I've had since I was younger, um, and it's uh, yeah, it's a set that I've sort of just held on to sort of for as long as I've could. And obviously, as soon as I started coin collecting, uh, it then went straight into my collection. So that mammoth video um, is once again going to end the collection video. So I've got one more video to do as I said at the beginning sort of that will cover sort of my Royal Mint sort of album sets um, and sort of my the my sort of personal coin albums as well so I'm expecting that to sort of go up within the next couple of weeks um, not too sure as to whether it be next week or the week after um, and I don't know if I don't know I'm not quite sure what next week's video will be yet it may well be a job like unboxing I haven't actually worked that out yet but stay tuned to the channel and find out obviously don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when I actually upload those new videos and you can also follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram where I will post when uh, my new videos gets up gets uploaded um, but yeah, with that said, thanks for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this, the third part of my collection run through. Um, I know it has been a sort of a mammoth slog. Um, before I started doing them, did not realise actually how much of a collection I actually had. Um, but really glad that you have been able to sort of share it with all of you. Um, let me know in the comments down below sort of what you think. And I will see you on the next one. All right, bye.